Hey guys, and welcome to episode 66 of my Zero Pay to Win series! Today is a big day. I don't know if I told you guys this already, but I've been on the grind! We're gonna be doing our first attempt to try and get our pen black star. Big day, big day! I ain't no failure, so this is gonna go... Great! We're also gonna go over some updates later in the video as well, but before we get started, if you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to thumbs the video up, it really helps out the channel, and if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. But anyways, let's get started. Alright guys, today is the day. We're gonna get my pen black star. I believe, I believe. I want it so bad, you guys don't understand. Okay, I need a fail stack. I have a 150 fail stack ready for this moment. Phew. Let's get this baby even higher. Munch up my Valk's cry. Yum, 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 yum. Beautiful. It's time to use our Jay's hammer. Okay, to the lucky docks. This is maximum RNG here. Don't screw me, Black Spirit, okay? What the? What the? What the? Okay, this is my moment. We're gonna get our pen black star. I'm gonna prove all the haters wrong. I'm gonna have the biggest flex ever. When haters try to talk shit, I can be like, what are you talking about? Look at me go with my pen black star. Please, RNG Jesus, black spirit. I know I'm asking for a lot here. Please let me have my pen black star, please. With the power of the Ace Alpha family, we shall overcome. We must believe in ourselves and the heart of the cards. All right, guys, it's time to let it rip. <laughs> we got this, please. Pen black star, pen black star, pen, 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 please. Okay. I'm not sad. It's just I'm a little bit disappointed, I guess. Eh, but it's okay. Uh, it's all my fault. I could have done better. I could have been born with more RNG, but no, no, I wasn't born with a lot of RNG. We can continue our Pen Black Star adventure saga another time. A eh? Today just wasn't the day, and that's okay. We must move on with our lives. On a happier note though, guys, because that was pretty depressing, let me tell you guys what's going down. You guys know how much I hate grinding, but I'm gonna start grinding hardcore. And I'm gonna continue making money through the central market by buying low and selling high. So like Ace Alpha is gonna be wealthy soon. Wealthy. Also, does anyone know any like good areas I can grind with my current AP? Like I don't wanna say where I'm grinding right now uh, cause I don't wanna get like sniped, but I feel like I can make more silver and do better. So if you guys have any recommendations on the areas I can grind with my AP, comment it down below. Just, just just don't do don't you dare recommend Star's End, okay? That area is filled with people who would love to farm Ace Alpha. <laughs> scary is scary. A different place other than Star's End. Ace Alpha doesn't feel like getting sniped constantly there. The whole point why I'm gonna start grinding hardcore while also doing my buying low and selling high, manipulating the marketplace and all that is so that I can eventually get back into enhancing for profit again. That's right, enhancing for profit. I've been too scared ever since that big loss that we had a while ago, but we're getting back into it. Accessories are pretty cheap right now, so I'm thinking of buying a lot over the next month or so. Also, also, I'm so ready for enhancing for profit. Check this out. I have so many fail stacks ready for me to use for my enhancing for profit sessions. I'm stacked with fail stacks. As you can see, I'm rich on fail stacks. Rich, rich, rich. But that's not all. I'm also wealthy on Blackstone armors and weapons. Like I have so many. So like I'm completely ready for enhancing for profit. I just got to slowly accumulate the accessories now. So the plan is simple. I want to get a hundred Basilisk belts, which should cost around 1.5 bill. 100 Aya runes, which should cost around 5 bill. 100 Tungrad earrings, which should cost around 6.5 bill. 100 Ogre rings, which should cost around 8.3 bill. 100 Tungrad necklaces, which should cost around 9.5 bill. 100 Tungrad belts, which should cost around 10 bill. 100 Tungrad rings, which should cost around 12.5 bill. So in total, 
to get all of that, I need around 53.3 billion silver. Don't worry guys, we're gonna buy these accessories slowly, you know, so I don't overpay for the accessories. Dollar cost average, if you know what I mean. You see my storage? I'm wealthy in items. We're gonna sell around 4,000 memory fragments, which will be worth around 7 bill or 5.5 bill after tax. If you guys remember how many Capras I had in a previous video, guys, uh, I have even more, let's go. So we have 30 bill in Capras uh, or 24 bill after tax, but we're still gonna need around 24 bill in liquid silver. I've actually started buying some already. That's why we have a few accessories here and there. We've got some ogre rings, some tongue grad necklaces, some tongue grad earrings, and a few others. I'm also ordering more as we speak. We're making big moves, big plays, let's go. Ow, ow. So I mentioned this in a previous video, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people are still wondering, why don't I just use my Capras for like falling god. The thing is, I could, but I don't want to because I'm going to be broke on silver if I do. As I said in one of my previous videos, I want to get all my gear to pen. So I want to get my Libras to pen, my Nuver to pen, and once that's done, I might go for like a pen heave helmet or a pen griffin helmet. And then, if everything goes well with my enhancing for profit as well, I should be able to get full Tet Tungrad accessories, which would be awesome because right now, I'm rocking the pen kaposhas. Let's go. <laughs> then I'd start working towards getting fallen god armor. Also, since I actually like attempt all of my pen attempts, Kafras are not that hard to get. Cause well, we always have a little Capra's pog session. Also, I run voodoos all the time, so Capra's are pretty easy for me to obtain. Anyways, if the enhancing for profit works out as I think it will, a Salfa is gonna be solid. So I mentioned this in a previous video, but these red battlefield adamantine crystals are max price right now. Up at the top, let's go. So I want to make some for just, you know, some quick silver. So I have a bunch of red seals from doing the daily quest in RBF. So let's go turn these in for some essence. All right, give me the essence, the essence, let's go. All right, you know, I don't have sound effects on for the game, but I can make some pretty cool sound effects. Don't worry. Shh. And there we go. I'm about to make bank. Anyways, that is pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to thumbs the video up and also subscribe down below to see more. I also have a Twitch channel called Ace Alpha Live and my Instagram is Ace and Lee. And make sure to join my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. I also have a TikTok called Ace Alpha Live as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later. Bye!